Hello friends, this is Kishan again. So in in previous tutorial we have seen how to set a spring bean scope as a singleton or prototype using XML. In this tutorial we are going to see how to set a spring bean scope as a singleton or prototype using annotations. So in previous project we had created this project a spring bean scopes demo. So I am going to copy this project and I'll paste it over here with the name a Spring Bean Scopes using annotation using annotation so let me explain you the source code which I had created in previous project same project I have copied so this is the bean class or you can say project class uh, named as a message and this class contains two instance variable and corresponding public setter, public setter getter methods and we have defined this bin in the xml file a spring, a spring, a spring configuration file we have registered this bin as a prototype and client program we are trying to retrieve this bin by calling getwin method, get bin method and we are setting the message and trying to print the message again we are asking for the same bin from a spring container by using get bin method but at this time we are not setting any message and when we run this application then first case we are getting the message whatever message we are setting and second case we are getting the default value because we have set the scope as the prototype so whenever you call when you set bin scope as a prototype and whenever you call get bin method then a spring is going to return you always brand new object but in single term same object will be returned so this is the example we had created in previous example but here this instantiation we are going to move using annotation so to use annotations i am going to use component sorry context colon component is scan base package we need to is you need to specify your model class package name and in this package in this class we are this class we are going to annotate with at the rate component And this is guys this is this is one of the stereo kind of annotations so when you annotate any class with at the rate component then uh, or if you uh, specify the package name then when you run the application then a spring will go to this package and try to find the classes which are annotated with the at the rate component and a spring will create an instance for this class like this and object no name would be message with first letter as a small here of course in bracket you can specify the object name as well whatever you want you can specify if you do not specify like if you specify m then message m equal to new message spring will be spring will create an object with uh, name m if you do not specify then default name would be like this class name first letter with a small letter okay so here uh, we have annotated this class as a component at the rate component annotation so spring is going to instantiate this class now second annotations we are going to use at the rate a scope annotations so here we are going to annotate this class at the rate a scope and in bracket you can specify here bracket you can specify as a singleton or prototype if you do not specify anything in the bracket then 
default scope would be the single type self. So now if I run this application, so we are getting the same message from both the SOP because this bean I have annotated with that, that it is scope and if you are not you are not specifying any scope in bracket like explicitly you can specify singleton but this is the default one if you do not specify man implicitly the singleton is here see it's working fine but if you want to specify a scope as prototype then explicitly you will have to write prototype and if i run this application then first stop you are going you are gonna get id as a 1001 a message as hello but in second sop you will get you will get the default value because whenever whenever your bean is as a prototype then a spring container is going to return you always brand new object so if i run it so in first sop we will we got whatever variable value we have set it but in second case we did not any we did not set any property value so we got the default value so guys guys now you understood how to create a spring bean as a single turn or prototype in both ways using xml as well as annotations so that's all i have in this tutorial guys so so i'll come up with a lot of series of tutorial uh, so but your feedback is very important for us so just spend little time to provide your feedback and uh, subscribe my youtube channel so that you'll get uh, update about the my latest video upload so see you in next tutorial thank you